Today is a very special day. Today I am going for a ride around Laguna Seca in the Aston Martin Valkyrie AMR Pro. <laughs> The Aston Martin Valkyrie has been pretty much my favorite car um, ever since it was announced. And the reason for that is it's one of the last truly raw, you know, V12 high revving performance cars um, made. For those of you who don't know much about the car, Aston Martin designed basically a car with no limitations. So it's powered by a thousand horsepower V12 that revs to 1100 RPM. It has a ton of downforce and F1 technology to make it stick to the road uh, as much as possible. And the AMR Pro version of which I'll be riding in today is basically they took the streetcar version of the Valkyrie and just made it as bonkers and crazy as possible for the track. But anyway, that's enough of me talking. Let's go for a ride. Okay, so now that you've seen the footage from inside of the Valkyrie, uh, I want to actually talk a little bit about my experience because I know that there's actually not too many people who have had this experience uh, in the first place. I want to start by giving a huge shout out to Ryan um, and everybody who put on the Hypercar Inv Invitational event. It was an amazing event, probably the best car event I've ever been to. Also, I want to give a shout out to The Heart of Racing, uh, which were a huge sponsor for this event. And every dollar that everyone donated to go on these rides in these cars was donated to charity, um, donated to the Make-A-Wish Foundation, which gives kids these uh, incredible opportunities um, that they might not be able to have uh, due to their conditions. So um, anyway, definitely check them out, but getting on to riding in the car. I'm gonna try to be a little more analytical than just, oh my gosh, it was incredible. I can't believe how fast that thing corners. Um, even though that's exactly what I was thinking while riding it. <laughs> so to start out before the drive, I was given a racing suit, a helmet, and a neck brace uh, by the Aston Martin team. And they were also extremely um, helpful and, and kind enough to let me mount a GoPro to the helmet and also wear one on my chest during the ride. Shortly after getting dressed up, um, I met with the driver whose name was Ian James. He was a uh, LMP2 class, uh, race car driver as well as some other pro series and obviously uh, racing for Aston Martin uh, So it was really cool to be able to meet him and uh, and go around the laps with him in that car So getting into the Valkyrie is no easy task, especially for a tall guy like me. I'm 6'3 uh, And I basically kind of put one leg in and had to fall into it. You're literally sitting 
on the floor. I mean, you're, you're getting into a tub and, uh, you know, once I got sat in there, everybody came and strapped me down, uh, made sure I was nice and secure. My legs were, my knees were kind of up on the dash, uh, but I had enough headroom with the helmet and everything like that. I wasn't uncomfortable. So once I was all strapped in, they closed the doors. Uh, I gave Ian a thumbs up and um, we started off. Now, the first thing I noticed about the Aston Martin on start off is that the car actually has a hybrid assist just on start. It basically starts off the starter and once it's E assist, once it, it'll take off in the E assist, once it gets above a certain mile an hour, it'll kick in the motor and it just takes off from there. Okay, but does the, does the hybrid motor have any play when it's actually in motion? It's not in play when you're on track. No, okay. it's all naturally aspirated after that. Gotcha. So the normal Aston Martin Valkyrie, the non-AMR Pro, is a full hybrid system that assists the car while driving. However, the AMR Pro is just a hybrid assist to get started and then it's actually all um, fully naturally aspirated after that. So we take off, the car starts rolling, and then about three seconds later the engine fires up and uh, man, it, it comes on with quite a roar. We started uh, just going out the taxiway and, and started the lap and uh, at first I was actually really nervous and, and not because uh, I was scared of, of crashing or anything like that, but um, just being in this really tight cockpit and not knowing what to expect, um, yeah, I was, I was a little nervous. Uh, but as soon as we started you know, getting on the car and, and warming up the tires and, and taking turns, uh, I, I sort of just forgot. The sound that that car makes inside of the cockpit, um, it rattles your eardrums, it rattles everything. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe that V12 is actually directly bolted to the frame of the car. So um, it doesn't get much more raw than having that engine uh, make, make all that sound behind your head. Now, the sound that the car makes on the inside of the car is actually very different from the sound that it makes on the outside of the car. And uh, that's true of a lot of V12 cars or, or a lot of uh, supercars in general. On the inside, you get this really gritty, raw sound from the engine. And of course, from the outside, uh, it's a screaming, super high-pitched noise, which it's, it's very different on the inside, uh, but of course, you guys heard the sound clips. So probably the most impressive part of the uh, ride in the car was experiencing the g-forces in the turns. And it's hard to comprehend while you're actually riding in the car how fast you're going. Um, but reviewing the footage, I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that that was the experience that I had. Of course, one of the most impressive factors about the car is the aerodynamics and the way it takes turns. First off, coming up to any of the turns, the braking zones uh, were so short and, and man, that car just stops. You can tell how light and how agile that is that car is by, by just how quickly it goes from very fast to very slow uh, and then very fast again. There was really no um, points during the ride where the car uh, came unglued or was scary in any way. Um, it was extremely planted and, and some of those turns um, he was taking, you know, nearly flat out or, or just letting off the gas a little. And the g-forces you experience going through those turns um, are extreme. Towards the last couple laps uh, on the drive, um, I actually started to get a little emotional. Um, I had some tears in my eyes because I, I realized that this is the pinnacle of automotive um, experiences, at least if you're into to track driving and performance cars. I was really trying to hold it together towards the end there uh, so I, I didn't look like I had you know, been traumatized when I got out of the car. But yeah, I think it was about a 10 minute session. I think I did six or seven laps. And once we pulled into the pits, they, they came in and shut the car off and, and rolled to a stop. Um, I had an easier time getting out than, than getting in. Everybody on the racing team was extremely kind and helpful. Um, after the race, I actually went home and got my laptop, came back, and uh, they even just transferred the footage right off those GoPros onto my uh, uh, computer so I could use it for these videos. Again, a huge shout out to Ian, the driver, and uh, Ryan for organizing, helping organize the event, uh, and what a truly spectacular experience it was. So like a lot of you, um, I never thought I would have the opportunity to ride in this car, 
Um, and I'm super thrilled that I am actually able to share a little bit of my experiences in the car with you guys. Uh, it, it was a pinnacle experience for me. I mean, really, I, I don't know how I can top that, uh, being a car guy and, and being a track enthusiast. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I will definitely be posting more videos and content of the Valkyrie and other uh, cars from this event. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I'll catch everyone on the next video.